Hi guys. Thank you for joining us for this week's segment of MissPlanet.com. This week we are going to be working on a sweets table for one of our community members, Candace. Candace is planning a wedding with her daughter and she asked us if we can come to get put together rather a inexpensive, beautifully elegant sweets table designed for. Her. Give her a plan. So guess what, Candace? We have a plan for you. All right, guys. So our supplies for this week are um, just some Dollar Tree purchased. Um, candle votive holders as well as some Dollar Tree purchase vases and then we also have some um, regular um, storage jars that we purchased from amazon.com don't worry about the supply list it's all down below in our link so just click on the link in the description down below and it'll get you connected to everything you need for this project so we have some trim we have some ribbon, but I have a really cool thing I want to introduce to you. And this is a product from um, a company called totallydazzled.com. Now I want you to know when I introduce a project to our plan, I have thoroughly vetted it and I'm very pleased with the product as well as the all important price point. So we're going to be using some beautiful brooches that were, um, that come from rather totallydazzle.com and we have some buckles that we're going to be using as well as some other rhinestone buckles so I'm very excited to hopefully I don't break them very excited to introduce this product to you because I'm actually kind of loving it so go ahead and go to the description below click on the link for the supply list and come on back and join me and let's do this Tuxedo Sweets Table. i see you in a snap. So for this project, we have four different containers that we're gonna embellish. So the first container is this beautiful one, as you can see. And the way I created this vase was that I actually put together two different vases. The first vase that I put together is this little votive holder, and that's from the Dollar Tree. So I took the votive holder and I took just your standard dollar vase from the Dollar Tree, cylinder vase, and with my E6000, I put them together to create one, sorry, had to grab my E6000. I put, put it together to create one larger vase. All right, very simple. Now, don't worry, if this is your first time with this, I have gone ahead and attached an iCard up at the top of the screen attaching how exactly to make the uh, Dollar Tree $2 vase. All right, so that's what I'm using for this. So I'm gonna show you how I put all of this together using some ribbon and our beautiful embellishments from uh, totallydazzled.com. All right, so let's get started. Put this off to the side. So I went ahead and put together a larger one. I wanted you to see that you could do it smaller, as well as on a larger scale. And so that's what we're gonna do now. So you're going to need just some embellishment um, trim. And actually I got this in one of the dollar bins at one of our local um, craft stores. And then I have some one and a half inch satin um, cream ribbon. And I have some, I believe this is two inch, yes, two inch satin black ribbon. And then I have one of my brooches from um, totallydazzle.com and one of their buckles also. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this container, we're gonna cut two of our black pieces of satin ribbon, 12 inches, and then we're gonna cut one piece of cream satin ribbon, uh, also 12 inches. So let's get started with the bottom. So I'm gonna take this beautiful buckle and I'm going to go ahead and loop our ribbon through the buckle, like so. And there we go. And just center it. Let's just work it till it's centered. There we go. Voila. And then all we're going to do is go ahead and drape it where the two vases are seamed together. 
Now, for the purpose of our tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and use my hot glue gun. But when you are doing this for your event, I would strongly suggest that you attach it with E6000 just to make sure that, you know, people tend to wanna to touch things at receptions, <laughs> just to make sure that they can touch it and it will not come apart on you. So go ahead and do that step. I'm gonna attach mine and we will continue and snap. So now that our base is done, we're gonna head up to the top. So let's go up to the top of our base. There we are. And so what we're gonna do is take again our 12 inch black satin ribbon. First, we're gonna attach that. Then we're going to attach our 12, 12 inch cream satin ribbon. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and attach the brooch exactly directly to the ribbon. So you're gonna find the center of your ribbon and you're going to attach the brooch. So that's about center. And I only put about maybe a quarter of an inch of the ribbon in the pin. So you're gonna attach it like so, All right? And then we're gonna take this whole piece and we're going to attach it to our black satin ribbon. So let's put the black on first. So I'm going to turn it to the back so all my seams match up. And here we go. Now again, if you're doing this, you want to go ahead and use your E6000 so that if somebody at the reception wants to touch it, it won't fall apart on you. <laughs> and we're gonna wrap it on around. And I like to put a little dab of glue kind of in the center on the other side, just to make sure that the ribbon stays in place. So I'm just gonna tap the glass a little bit with some glue, because no one will see the inside of it once you add your sweet treats. All right, so you go ahead and attach your black satin ribbon and come on back and we will continue with our next step. So next we're going to go ahead and attach the cream. So here we go. I'm gonna add some glue just to make it more stable right along the pin area. And I'm gonna to try to make sure I center it with not only the black, but also, give me a second, there we go, but also with our buckle embellishment at the bottom. Hold it there for a minute. And then we're going to go ahead and turn it around and secure it in the back. So let's do that. And don't worry about all the little, um, Little frizzes right there, because we can trim them off later. Not a problem. So there we go. Make it stick. And I would preferably let it dry just a minute or so before you cut them off. But for the purposes of our tutorial, I'll go ahead and cut them off now. Like so. So when we turn it back around, there we have it. Very pretty. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the trim above and the trim below. Now, if you like it like this, guess what? Change up the plan. Remember, the plan is for you to change and do what you would like. So go ahead and make sure you attach your brooch and your cream ribbon, and then we'll come on back and we will attach our trim.
The next containers are containers that were pre-purchased. They came in a set of three. Um, what I like about these three is that they're not too big, but they're not too small either. Also, I got the three of them for under $30, $30. Whereas when I went and tried to shop some of our local craft stores and our local uh, DIY hobby stores, one container could cost up to $30 just for one. It was kind of ridiculous if you ask me. So don't worry, I have included the link to these uh, containers down at the bottom in our description. So please go ahead and click on the description and it'll take you right to the link where you can purchase these yourself. Um, so I love them plain, but you know, I wanted to kind of zhuzh them up a little bit. So I went ahead and I'm continuing our theme with the tuxedo and um, with these beautiful uh, rhinestone brooches from totallydazzle.com. And all I did was attach them. Now for the purpose of our video, I'm going to attach them just with some hot glue. But when you actually do this for your event, it's very important that you use our trusted E6000 because it will make sure that they don't go anywhere as people are taking on and off the lid. So I went ahead and sealed the clasp. I'm just putting, you know, a pretty liberal amount of glue on the pin itself. Don't worry, the glue will get back on there and on the bottom. And then I am going ahead and setting it on the lip. It's like a little groove right there. Okay. And don't worry about if there's a glue that um, seeps out because we can peel that right off. So that's that. Very simple. And then I went ahead and took our little trim that we got from the dollar store. And I just simply trimmed around the rim of the vase. So let's go ahead and do that next. Set that aside. And you can go ahead and measure it first. And once you measure, go ahead and cut. And we're gonna go ahead and peel off the sticky. And again, if the sticky does not adhere, it's okay. You can just attach it with the hot glue gun if I can get it peeled off. Having some issues, here we go. So. Like so. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue on the end, attach it to the rim, and every so often probably wanna put a little bit more glue, attach it. Don't worry about the glue spider webs, we can peel those right off. Attach it. Continue. Patch and last. And right on around. Okay. And then as the glue dries, we can go ahead and peel off the spider webs. No big deal. And something so simple makes it so elegant. So I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So go ahead and attach your brooches to your lids and your trim around the rim. And we'll come on back and get to our next container. See you in a snap. So our next container, we're also gonna use our make your own vase <laughs> with our two votive candle holders from the Dollar Tree. And all I simply did was attach both of them with the E6000. But first we're going to attach our embellishment, which is very, very simple to do. We have some ribbon and some buckles from um, totallydazzle.com. So we're gonna go ahead and put that together. Let's get started. So the thing you're gonna do is you're going to cut both your black satin ribbon and your cream satin ribbon and strips of about four inches long. So let's go ahead and do that. And so you will need four black and four, four cream. So go ahead and get that done and let's get started. Now that we have our ribbon cut, we're gonna go ahead and layer it. So you're gonna take one of your black ribbons. You're gonna layer it with the cream and then you're gonna roll it behind. Don't worry about the little, you know, frizz. <laughs> and then on the back of your buckle, you're just gonna thread it through the buckle. Like so. Pull it all the way through till you get to the center. 
Now, or you can kind of twist it around and if it gets kind of stuck just take it apart and do it again no big deal all right so once I get it about center then I start working on unfolding it, it takes a little bit to work with but no big deal and here we go so when you turn it around it'll be layered again don't worry about the little frizz because that'll be all covered up and so you'll have this and you will attach it to your glass so let's go ahead and attach one and you can add as many or as few as you like for this one I did four but if you like more do more if you like less do less remember this is just a plan and you can change it enhance it any way you would like so now I'm going to just trim the frizz off the top before I glue it down, I'm going to take my white and I'm going to adhere it to the black. Again, for the purpose of our videos, I'm using the hot glue gun. But when you do this project, I would strongly suggest you use the E6000 just to make sure you don't have any mishaps for your wonderful special day. So we're just going to roll it right over the top. And you don't have to worry about the back side because when you put candy and things in there, it'll be completely covered. But it's nice and neat either way. All right? Then I'm going to flip it up and I'm going to put glue on our buckle. And adhere it to the glass. And it doesn't have to be really taunt. You want it to kind of have, you know, a more relaxed look. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. And you can trim it again. Just trim the white to match up with the black. Adhere the white to the black. Make sure it's about centered. And then adhere the black onto your glass container like so. So we're going to do that three more times and then we'll be ready to attach it to our other base to make it nice, tall, and regal. All right, you go ahead and do that. I'm going to do it here and we'll be back in just a second. Well guys, what you think? I love it. This tuxedo sweets table turned out exactly like I hoped. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Candace, I hope this met your vision and I hope this is a great plan for you and your daughter's wonderful wedding coming up. Couple of things, there's some i cards attached to the top. You will see um, we've added so the uh, cake stand and the cake stand i card is at the top. So those of you who are just joining us, you can go to a, a previous tutorial and learn how to make that very inexpensive cake stand. I hope you enjoyed this segment. It was such my pleasure to be a part of Candace and her daughter's special day. If you like us, please like us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. And also subscribe, absolutely, so you'll know when our videos are up every Wednesday, guys. Well, until next week, happy DIYing. Oh, and remember, when every penny counts, count on this planet. I'll see you next week. God bless, bye.